Listen to me, Carden. Helping you has already put my operation at risk. You will do exactly as I say, when I say, or... Or you'll what, Captain? I'm not one of your lock-stepping drones. This part of the op is mine. End of discussion. How dare you! Intruders! Put those blasters on the floor, soldiers. Nice and slow. Imperial soldiers. So you are a traitor, just like Tavis and the others. You're gonna pay for what you've done, Carden. You, Tavis, everyone. Not gonna happen, soldier. Now drop that weapon before... A Havoc badge. Is this a joke? No, no. You must be the new recruit Tavis told me about. So you survived after all. Can't say I'm surprised, honestly. Havoc always did recruit the best. I'm not interested in compliments from a traitor. It's not treason when the Republic betrays you first. It's self-preservation. I'm impressed. I didn't think the old lady would send someone after me so quickly. After all these years, Garza still hasn't lost her edge. What are you waiting for, Cotton? Kill the whelp! Or do you lack the true resolve to fight for the Empire? My loyalty is to Tavis. Not to your Empire and not to anyone else. You want the trooper dead? You take care of it. I don't kill good soldiers. I'm heading down to the works to make sure everything is prepped. You aren't going anywhere. Do yourself a favor and die now, soldier, before you get in any deeper over your head. Open fire, men! Firing! Good work, Lieutenant. My technicians are accessing the Justicar files now. Patrol schedules, supply manifests, prisoner records. Ah, Card and you. I think we've found what we're looking for, Lieutenant. You have a new target. Are you saying the old man isn't my objective anymore? Cardin is still an objective, but not your only objective. Cardin had the Justicars work with the Imperials to hijack and rebuild an abandoned Republic communications relay down in an industrial area called The Works. Apparently, Tavis and his followers are using this relay to route all of their interplanetary communications. If we destroy it, the traitors will be completely cut off from one another. Taking the traitors down will be a lot easier if they're isolated. I'm sending Sergeant Matham to bring you the explosives. You'll need to destroy the relay. He'll rendezvous with you shortly. If your guy doesn't get here fast, I'll never catch up to Carden. Mathen is already en route, Lieutenant. You won't have to wait. One last thing. Cardin didn't seem to mesh with the Imperials. I don't think he's as convinced of their supremacy as his protégés are. You're sure to find him guarding that comm relay. Kill him if you have to, Lieutenant. But try to persuade him to surrender peacefully first. I'll give it my best shot, General. Please do, Lieutenant. Cardin's only concern is the safety of the former Havoc members. He may not be loyal to us, but he isn't loyal to the Empire either. Convince him that it's in the best interest of Tavis and the others for him to surrender. That's the best way to sway him. Can't hurt to see if Carden will listen to reason. I know Jack Carden, Lieutenant. Convince him that surrendering is the only way that everyone comes out of this alive, and we'll have him. Now, hurry and rendezvous with Sergeant Mathen. You'll need those explosives regardless of what happens with Carden. Good luck. Garza out. Hey there, LT. Sergeant Mathen reporting for duty with fun toys in tow, sir. This is serious business, Sergeant. Yes, sir, it is. Which is why you need some serious hardware. First item of business is your detonator, sir. A Zerka Arms 53R high-yield thermite explosive. Guaranteed to get a party started. Or ended. That'll be perfect. Now, the comm relay you're going after is in The Works, an industrial area on the lower levels of Coruscant. It's a dangerous place, LT. Besides the Imperials, you're bound to find. The rogue service droids down there will squash anyone they can get their big metal claws around. I can handle myself. Not a doubt in my mind, sir. Just thought I'd give you the heads up. Once you've made your way to the relay, plant that detonator on the generator coupling at the center and clear out of there before it goes off. That's all there is to it, LT. I won't hold you up any longer. Good luck. Still alive, huh? You really should have gotten out of this while you were ahead, soldier. Now you're a risk to Tavis and the rest of my people. So Havoc Squad or not, I'm going to have to kill you. 
you cared about Tavis and the others, you wouldn't have let them defect. I've made my choice. Tavis, Wraith, Needles, Gearbox, Fuse, they're like my children, and I abandoned them. I resigned and left them to fight alone, just to make a point. They need my help now more than ever. I'm not going to abandon them. Not this time. The Imperials are the enemy. You aren't one of them. The Republic came just as close to killing me as the Empire ever did. As far as I'm concerned, everyone's my enemy. I know you're trying to get into my head, soldier, but it's not gonna work. Think what you want, Carden. Doesn't make my point any less true. All I know is that you're really trying my patience, soldier. I don't even understand what you're trying to convince me of here. I'm trying to keep my people alive, and it's your mission to kill them. That's all there is to this, soldier. I served with your people, sir. I don't want to kill them. Well, you've certainly taken your time trying to kill me. Hmm. You've already compromised the relay. Even if we take you out, it's only a matter of time until Garza has this place slagged for a click in every direction. And by now, Garza will know exactly where all the defector bases are. They'll be tethered banthas, cut off from each other and all... Excuse me, sir, but shouldn't we be... The Imperials might offer help, but it won't be much. They'll all be left to die. Tavis and the others will follow your lead. If you come in peacefully, they will too. Damn. I can't believe it's come to this. Sir? All right, soldier, I'll go along with this. But if you harm a single one of my people, you will be dead within the day. Understood? I'm not afraid of you, old man. You don't have to be afraid of me to be killed by me. So consider yourself warned. Let's get on with this, soldier. I can't allow you to go into enemy custody alive, Cardin. Are you still here? The op's over, people. Finished. Mission failed. So get out of here while you still got the legs to carry you. You leave me no choice, sir. Ready your weapons, men! You're going down. Target neutralized. <laughs> Reminds me of old times. Here's my weapon. Consider me surrendered. I'll make my way up to the Senate Tower and turn myself in. See what Garza wants to do next. I'm glad to have you back on our side. I never said I was on your side, soldier. I'm doing this for my people, not for your Republic or anything else. Anyhow, I'm sure we'll meet again. There's a relay down here that needs to be detonated. Yeah, I suppose you've got a job to do. So much work down here for nothing. See you topside, soldier. Let's go take out that relay and give Card's little baby something to think about. The hero of the hour. I'm proud of you, Lieutenant. You've done well. Just doing my job. Jack Carden walked up to the Senate's tower's front door and surrendered himself in broad daylight. I never thought I'd see the day. Carden's help will give us quite an edge against Tavis and the others. I'm glad you could change his mind. Do we have Carden in a secure location? Shortly. First, we'll make sure he doesn't have any tricks up his sleeves. I haven't come this far by taking chances. The Justicar's computer files included messages relayed between four locations. Our technicians are working to pinpoint those locations now. There can be no doubt that the messages will lead us to the other traitors. Thanks to your efforts, we'll be able to bring them all to justice very soon. I'm glad our plan has worked out so far. Possibly a bit too well. One of the traitors has already moved against us. Wraith. You remember Senator Krasul from your meeting with the Senate earlier? Wraith kidnapped him from his home just afterward. We've tracked them to a remote space station called Port Raga. How could Wraith manage to kidnap a Republic Senator? Wraith was chosen for Havoc Squad for a reason. Her skills are exceptional. One of our teams is already en route to Port Raga. They'll investigate the situation and give you a detailed report on arrival. You've accomplished some amazing things, Lieutenant. But there's no time for a break yet. Whatever Wraith is planning, we cannot allow her to succeed. Understood? I won't rest until the job's done. I know you won't, Lieutenant. Havoc Squad requires its own starship for operational flexibility. Our ship has already been transferred to your command. It's waiting at the spaceport now. You're the best CO ever. Put it to good use, Lieutenant. 
Fly to Port Raga and meet with the advance team immediately. Your orders are to rescue Senator Krasul and capture or eliminate Wraith at all costs. Good luck, Lieutenant. Dismissed.